Hello friends, this is Sam Chen, you're reporting for WeaponizedNews.com. Today is March 22nd, 2017, 322. We'll get to that. Drudge Report, Jihad at UK Parliament. Three killed, many injured in London. House spy agencies rushed to track down identity of killer. Four tourists caught in Bedlam. Hours of waiting and wondering. Attack hands. May her first security crisis. ISIS celebrates blood for blood. Flashback going to see black flag of Sharia over Windsor Castle. Let's try to figure out what the heck happened. Many conflicting reports. First, this flashback to the mayor of London, Sadiq Khan. London mayor says terror attacks part and parcel of living in a major city. And this is published out of the UK Independent back in September of 2016. So was it a Muslim attacker? There was a case of mistaken identity, confusion over identity of London terrorist suspect as previously named Abdul Izzedin is in prison. <clears throat> the hate preacher previously named Trevor Brooks was being blamed for this early on. This man right here. But apparently, he's in prison, so he couldn't have done this attack. More. Second depraved London terror attack victim named as Westminster officer PC Keith Palmer as Theresa May condemns attack on Parliament that killed five. So what exactly happened? Mary police officer who was killed by Islamist terrorist as the death toll rises to five with 20 injured, including French students and Korean tourists. Four wheel drive was driven over Westminster Bridge, knocking down pedestrians this afternoon. Victims were said to have been left scattered in the road, with one woman knocked into the River Thames. Emergency services treated at least 40 injured people on the bridge, with three people killed. Quote, Asian knife man got into the grounds of Parliament where he stabbed and killed a police officer. Met police, named the officer as, again, Kenneth Palmer, 48, who had, who had served with the force for 15 years. The middle-aged attacker was then shot by armed police officers and died after being taken to the hospital. Police believe attacker to be a lone wolf, as confirmed by Prime Minister Theresa May tonight. Parliament was suspended and the Prime Minister was rushed from the scene in her official car. So did that really happen? Was this a false flag attack? Was this a real attack? Either way, it was a false flag because of his radical Islamic terrorism. It was caused by the government allowing the fomentation of this through the refugee crisis and continuing to coddle radical Muslim extremism while they pretend that the surveillance security state is for our protection. These attacks somehow seem to keep happening. And oh yeah, Britain is a gun-free zone. Guns are banned there. But yet, this terrorist killed five people, injured 40, with a car and a knife. So of course today is March 22nd, 322. Was this a false flag by Skull and Bones Illuminati? Was this a blood sacrifice ritual? I'm not going to get into that in this report, but I want you to be aware of this. 322 does have dark occultic undertones. Was it this? The president of Turkey. Turkey threatens Europeans, you will not walk safely in the streets if current attitudes persist.
having already told Europe will blow your mind with a threat to unleash 15,000 immigrants per month, the Turkish President Erdogan escalated his rhetoric this morning, warning Europeans across the world would not be able to walk safely on the streets if they kept up their current attitude. So you've got this radical Muslim extremist, the president of Turkey, threatening Europe. You've got this Muslim mayor saying it's part and parcel of living in a major city, terrorist attacks. He's referencing the, referencing the New York City bombing here, but easily could be talking about London. So you've got the president of Turkey, the mayor of London, both Muslims, not denouncing radical Islamic extremism, saying you, you need to learn to live with it, I mean, and the Turkey president's outright threatening Europe with an immigrant invasion and saying it's not safe to walk on your streets. Amazing. More headlines. Four tourists caught in London Bedlam. Hours of waiting and wondering. Tourists were caught up in these Gondola rides. The terrorism doing what it's meant to do. Cause chaos and fear. London attack hands Theresa May. Her first security crisis. British Prime Minister must juggle response to suspected terror incident. Even as Brexit talks set to begin. Was this a warning from the EU? From the Illuminati? To back off trying to leave. Was it ISIS? Radical Islamic extremist. ISIS and Islamicist website celebrate blessed London terror attack. I mean there's a lot going on. There's a lot we don't know. We're waiting for the true identity of the attacker or attackers. Plural, more than one possibly. They're saying it's a lone wolf. Some is always sketchy when they start talking about that. ISIL supporters cheer Westminster attack as revenge for British air strikes on Syria. Was it because the West, Britain, and the rest of the Western uh, NATO alliance is over there doing air strikes against ISIS in Syria? Was it retaliation for that? Here's the supposed lone wolf. Doesn't look very Asian to me. There's close-up pictures of him. Looks like a black man. Flashback to March 2016. British extremist films pro-jihad screened on open street with passers-by. And of course, this is the one year anniversary of the Brussels bombings. You got this crazy radical Islamic extremist talking about they're going to fly the flag of ISIS over Westminster. So what do we make of this? There's photos. There's the police officer that died. What are we to make of this? It was 322. Skull and Bones Illuminati. Dark occultic ritual. Day. You got Muslims. The president of uh, Turkey. The mayor of London. Saying live with it. President of Turkey threatening. Europeans. There's a map of how it happened. Drove across this bridge and ran a bunch of people over outside of Parliament. There's the wrecked car.
Pedestrians dead. So will we, in the United States, continue to accept open borders, no vetting of possible radical Muslim extremists coming into this country? Will we continue to accept it? Because this is the result. Maniac who knifed Britain in the heart. Was this a lone wolf? Was this part of ISIS? Again, was this part of Skull Bones Illuminati? Was this a lone wolf? Was it a coordinated attack? We just don't know. Any way you slice it, it was a false flag because they've allowed, the UK government has allowed this to happen. Do not allow this to happen again in the United States. Secure our borders, properly vet refugees and immigrants that are coming into this country. It's completely and utterly ridiculous or will be a false flag in the United States that is no one else's fault but our own governments. I'll continue to report about this story as the identity of the terror suspect is revealed. But it certainly appears to be jihad at UK Parliament with the threats from the London mayor and the president of Turkey and, obvi and obviously ISIS. Do your own research, subscribe to this channel, speak out and take action. Greetings citizens of the world. We are anonymous. At least five people were killed, including the attacker and a police officer, and 40 were wounded in an attack in London on Wednesday, the head of London's Metropolitan Police Counter-Terrorism Unit said. I was just walking up to the station, and there was a loud bang, and a guy, someone crashed a car, and so I took some pedestrians out, and they were just laying there, and then the whole crowd just surged around the corner just by the gates just opposite Big Ben and a guy came past my right shoulder with a big knife and just started plunging it into the policeman. The driver of a large vehicle mowed down pedestrians on Westminster Bridge which leads to Parliament around 2.40 p.m. after the crash he left the vehicle and approached Parliament where he fatally stabbed a police officer. The police then fatally shot him Parliament was locked down and a search was conducted for any other assailants in the area. The police said they believed there was only one attacker. Three people who were run over on the bridge died, and the Port of London Authority said another woman was pulled from the River Thames with severe injuries. Others injured on the bridge included three police officers and several French high school students. The police said officers had been summoned to the bridge after reports of a firearms incident, and witnesses reported gunfire near an office building for lawmakers and their staff members. The police said a full counter-terrorism investigation was underway. The alleged assailant uh, was uh, shot by armed police. Um, a, an air ambulance is currently attending the scene to remove the casualties. There are also reports of further violent incidents in the vicinity of the Palace of Westminster, but I hope colleagues on all sides will appreciate that it will be wrong of me here to go into further details until we have confirmation from the police and from the House Security Authorities about what is going on. Prime Minister Theresa May was taken from the scene in a silver jaguar as the gunfire erupted. She later denounced the sick and depraved terrorist attack on the streets of our capital this afternoon. One of the busiest sections of London was cordoned off and evacuated. The Westminster station of London's subway system was closed, and additional police officers have been stationed across.